I think looks do matter. I mean, at the end of the day, you've got to be drawn to it. It's a bit like, you know, marrying somebody. I mean, we all like to think that we're marrying just for personality, and that's important, but you, you need that initial attraction in the first place. I really think Audi have nailed this TTS. It is the most beautiful and distilled combination of practical function and emotional function. What do you reckon? Have they married form and function? I mean, that's the ultimate uh, expression of any sort of man-made object, isn't it? It is. It is. I mean, you know, you have that classic mantra, less is more. You have beautiful design. You have a great exterior. But at the end of the day, you've got a car that really has your back. Yeah, I'm with you. And as much as I'm a tech guy and I, you know, I love, love my engineering and all my gadgets, it feels good to drive. It's fun. Um, it, it goes incredibly well and every time you start it up, there's this little buzz that, 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 uh, that occurs. I was really excited to get a hold of the latest Audi TTS because I'd been a huge fan of the original TT. I was looking for some of the signature design of the old one. I found a bit, I lost a little bit because I really wanted the concentric rings on the shifter in the middle, but apart from that, I was really, really satisfied with what I got because really it's an even simpler, more pure iteration of an iconic car. When you open that car up, it feels incredibly good to drive. It's as simple as that. It is a sports car at the end of the day. We've got four cylinder, two litre turbo engine, uh, 210 kilowatts, 380 newton meters. So plenty of urge and uh, to the point that this car goes from zero to 100 in 4.7 seconds. And I've just looked in the rear vision mirror there and uh, there's that little wing that you can actually pop up and down. So you've got the ability to put it up and down should you wish. The other thing that uh, you do appreciate, especially coming out of some of these really tight corners is Quattro, you've got all wheel drive. So again, you mentioned it before, the car's got your back. What was interesting about driving with Sally was the fact that uh, she obviously approaches things from an industrial designer's point of view. I'm approaching it from a driver's, race driver's point of view, yet we both like the same things about the car. You know, something I love about this car also, I love the brakes. And with the TTS, one of the uh, many sort of uh, features you get with the S model versus the standard one is that you've got these upgraded brakes. They're bigger uh, and you can tell they're upgraded yeah. because they're red. They're red, <laughs> so very sporty in colour. When I first got into this TT, the thing that overwhelmingly I love are the air conditioning vents. So little turbines, they're pointing at you, it's very driver focused. The whole thing is so beautifully simple. What's obvious is there are no gauges. There are no mechanical gauges in this car. It's what's known as a virtual cockpit. Basically like a big uh, iPad, I suppose. And uh, because it's a screen, it means you can display anything at all. What I love about this virtual cockpit is the simplicity. The graphics are beautiful. There's a lot of restraint there. The majority of the controls for that virtual cockpit display can be uh, done through the steering wheel, so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel, keep them at three and nine where they should be. But the, the bulk of what we're doing um, is controlled via that rotary knob in the center there. One of the new things with this uh, MMI Touch Plus, as it's called, at the top is a touchpad. Now, I didn't know that, and that is so cool. Well, all you need to do is literally write it with your hand and literally just, you don't have to look at all. And the writing recognition is adaptive. So the more you use it, the more it reads, no matter how bad you, you could be a doctor even. And with those chicken <laughs> scratchings that doctors have, and it'd still pick up uh, what you're writing down. So it's a really clever system that learns along the way. So in keeping with that sort of minimalist feel, one of the things you can do, rather than having to look around uh, at all the buttons, you can actually use the voice uh, speech dialogue system. So it's your own little personal assistant in the car. Press the button and of course, all you need to do is uh, just talk naturally. That's uh, great. E e even with the Aussie truncated ends, right. they can just talk about <laughs> driving and stuff and things and that and it'll just pick it up. I do like lane assist, but I can't stand it when something's beeping at me and screaming at me and going, what are you doing? The lane assist on that TTS is very subtle. So again, it's all the fundamentals of a true sports car are here, but it still feels good to drive. It still sounds great. And uh, when you want it to, there it yeah. is. Uh, it's really Crackers. quite fast. Exactly right. <laughs>
The driving experience for me was fantastic because uh, the car can pull over 1G laterally, so it's always good fun for me. I loved it. Love the TTS. Love driving with Steve. Altogether, fantastic drive.